Hola, soy yo, Stephanie, de Apex Languages. It is Spanish vocabulary time. This week, we're actually going to go back and review because I've been giving you lots of different words that describe your family. So here we have la familia, the family, y los parientes, the relatives. Let's do a quick run through of everyone, starting with the son, el hijo. Repeat after me, hijo, hijo. Brother is el hermano. Let's repeat that too, hermano, hermano. La madre is mom, the mom. So madre, madre. She's also known as mamá, mamá, and mommy, mommy. Wife, the word for wife is la esposa, esposa, esposa. Husband is el esposo, with an O at the end, esposo, esposo. Father is padre, padre or papa, remember to have the accent at the end, otherwise it's potato, papa, or papi, papi. Finally, we have the daughter, la hija, 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 and the sister, la hermana, la hermana, hermana. Over here, we've got grandma, la abuela, Okay, has an A at the end. La abuela, abuela. If you want to say grandpa, you say abuelo, abuelo, abuelo. Grandchildren are nietos. So a grandson is nieto, nieto. Granddaughter is nieta, nieta. Then there's your uncle. Uncle is tío, tío, tío. Aunt, give it a name, tía, tía, tía. Uh, their children are your cousins, right? So those are your primos. Okay, a girl cousin is prima, prima, and a boy cousin is primo. Primo. Last but not least, las mascotas, your pets, mascota. Okay, a cat is a gato, gato, gato. And the dog is a perro. Okay, that double R, perro, perro. This is Maria. Say, hola, Maria. How would you say, Maria is my mother? Well, mother, we have a couple of words, madre, mama, mommy. Let's just stick with madre for now. My, well, that's me. And is, you have to decide, is it permanent or temporary? Well, hopefully the idea here, your mother is permanent. So you're going to use ser, and the third person singular form of ser is es. So you would say, Maria es mi madre. How about Maria is my daughter? Well, what's the word for daughter? Hija. So you would say, Maria es mi hija. Now, I know I've said in the past that uh, mi hija has its own word, mija. That's when you're uh, talking directly to your daughter um, in less formal situations. If I want to stress she is my daughter, I can write it out like this. So you could say Maria es mija, um, but you're more likely in this specific situation to say Maria es mi hija. Maria is his sister. How do you say that? Well, the word for sister is hermana, and the word for his is su. 
Remember the word for her? Her is also Sue. There is also Sue. Nice and simple for you, right? So Maria is his sister. Maria es su hermana. Maria is your aunt. How would you say that? Your, again, that usted form is going to be the same as he, she, it, so su. And what's the word for aunt? Let's see if you got this right. Maria es su tía. Now instead of Maria, let's say hola to Juan. Juan is uh, John in Spanish. Very common name. So Juan is my father. Juan es mi papi. Juan is his grandfather. Remember grandfather? It's abuelo. Juan es su abuelo. Juan is her dog. Such a popular name. She even gave it to the dog. Okay, remember, his and her are the same. So you would say, Juan es su perro. Don't forget the double R sound. Juan es su perro. Now, let's say your name is Juan. You can say, uh, my name is, do you remember that? Okay. You are is se llama, se llama Juan. But if I want to just keep going with the verb ser, remember that it's the same in uh, for you, the formal you, usted, and for third person singular, he, she, it. So um, he is Juan, el es Juan, usted es Juan. Use the same verb, usted es Juan. I'm Juan too. Everybody's Juan, let's pretend. Okay, now here the verb will change. Instead of es, what is the I form of uh, to be, of ser? Yo soy Juan, también, también is too. So repeat with me, yo soy Juan. También, or just soy Juan. Okay, uh, just a reminder, if you wanted to say, my name is Juan, you would say, for your name, your name is Se llama. For my name, me llamo Juan. Me llamo Juan. Okay. Finally, let's put them all together. Hola, Juan and Maria. Now, how would you say Juan and Maria are my children? Well, You'd start, remember, and is E. Uh, my children, so children, again, is hijos. So it's hijo is son, hija is daughter, hijos, with, uh, it has an S, that's children. Remember, the adjective has to match. So you need to put an S at the end of me. And R, uh, the, the, Third person plural form of the verb ser is son. So, Juan y María son mis hijos. They are their grandchildren. A little, a little bit more confusing in English, okay. They are their grandchildren. Juan y María are their grandchildren. Well, the word for grandchildren, so grandparents is abuelo, uh, abuelos, plural. Grandchildren are nietos, nietos. So, uh, again, su needs an S, R is son. Ellos son sus nietos. They are your cousins. Let's end with that, okay? So, they is ellos. Because it's, it's a male and female. El is for he. Asia is for her. If you have a bunch of girls together, that's Asia's. But again, if you have one boy, it's Asia's. Asia's. So Asia's son, sus, 
and the word for cousins is primos. Uncle and aunt is tios, one word. You don't have to say uncles and aunts. Cousins, primos. Son sus primos. We've also learned a lot of adjectives, so let's practice those now as well. How would you say Juan and Maria are young? Last week, we learned that young is joven, so you would say Juan y Maria son jóvenes. No silent E's in Spanish, so you have to pronounce everything jóvenes. Ellos son jóvenes. Juan and Maria are not old. You haven't seen not before, but don't worry, it is super easy. It's no. In Spanish, no means no, and not means no. For people who are learning English, the difference between no and not can be very confusing. But in Spanish, super easy, no, no. So how would you say old? Viejo. And so the whole sentence is, Juan y Maria no son viejos. Ellos no son viejos. Juan is big, but Maria is small. But is perro. Big, you should know by now, is grande. Small, pequeño. Ironic, isn't it, that pequeño is such a big word? Okay, so put it all together. Juan es grande, pero Maria es pequeña. Again, don't forget, uh, the adjectives match in number, but also in gender. So grande, that's new, uh, you know, neuter, uh, doesn't matter. But pequeña, Juan es pequeño, Maria es pequeña. So don't forget that. Juan and Maria are happy. Happy, feliz. It's a temporary situation, so warning, we've got to switch. We're not going to use ser for this, we're going to use estar. Juan and Maria están felices. The Z changes to a C, that's a spelling thing. Juan y Maria están felices. Juan and Maria are not sad. Juan y Maria no están tristes. Ellos no están tristes. Practice makes perfect, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to give you some homework. You can write this and send it to me in an email. You can post it in the comments. You know, you can write one sentence, three sentences, or an entire paragraph. Write me a book if you so desire. Your assignment, describe your family. You've heard about my pretend family. Tell me about yours. You know, do you have a brother, two brothers, a sister? Okay. Um, Tell me about your grandparents, about your uncles, your cousins. How many pets do you have? How many cats and dogs, right? What are their names? What are they like? Are they young? Are they old, big, small, happy, or sad? All right, go ahead, write, and I'm happy to make any corrections. If you don't, you won't make mistakes. You also won't learn much, okay? So remember, practice, write me something. What are you still doing here? I thought I told you to get to work. Before you leave though, thank you as always for watching. I've got lots more videos at apexlanguages.com. Until then, have a wonderful, safe, healthy day.